another demonstration I'm going to do, I'm calling this the Van de Graaff Generator Leiden Jar Pith Ball. I'm also going to be illustrating, uh, I have here plastic, glass, and rubber rods, and I have here uh, fur and silk. I'm going to rub them uh, against these, and I'm going to see what the different kinds of charges that I get here. And then these two, I have two different models of what, what is called a pith ball, which is essentially a little ball that is conducting that I can uh, induce charge on it, and I can see what kind of static charges are produced. And then these are two different models of the Leiden jar. And this is an experiment that we do in our classes too. And it's a kind of a fun experiment where students can really play with these and see uh, what the effect of charging happens, what, what, what is caused, and then they can also tell the nature of these charges. So we'll start with the showing the Van de Graaff generator. Essentially what the Van de Graaff generator is, is uh, just a rubber rod, uh, just a rubber belt like this. And then we have here a certain material, I believe in this case it's copper. You can put some, any material that could be charged. And then as I connect this to electricity, the rubber uh, uh, tire, the rubber uh, belt uh, starts rotating and then due to friction, it creates electricity here, either negatively or positively charged. So the copper wire either gives electrons or receives electrons either one, and then when, uh, if it re, uh, receives electrons, it's gonna be negatively charged, and if it gives electrons, it's gonna be positively charged. And then I'm gonna put the head over here. I can charge this like this. So that means this is now charged. All right, take these and put it on the Leiden jar. Then you guys can see here the separation that is created it's pretty dramatic. So whatever charge that this had gets transferred to here, and then the two gold leaves, essentially what they are, just basically gold leaves, the charge goes down and they repel each other. And they repel each other so strongly and they stay that way, you see? Like this. Now I can discharge it with my fingers if I, since our bodies are conducting, just touch it with our fingers and look what happens. The charge transfers back to our bodies and then the two leaves go down. So pretty dramatic, right? This is how the nature of charge was first discovered in the 1800s when people were playing with, um, uh, experimenting with static electricity. The large and jar was invented and the pith ball is also a different illustration of it. So let's do this again. Charge it with the Van de Graaff generator. The pith ball. See, initially there's an attraction and after that, a repulsion. See what happened? Initially attraction, then repulsion. So what happened initially when I bring it close to the ball, the ball induces a charge. I can draw it like this. The ball is hanging like this. So imagine my charger is positive. What happens when you bring it close to the ball, you induce a charge, the negative charges rush to this side of the ball, and this side of the ball gets left with positive. So this positive attracts the negative, so then the, it goes like this, right? It wants to touch it. When I bring it and it transfers the charge, once the touching happens, the negative goes over here, and then the, the, this ball is left with a net positive. So the negative transfers over to my charger, right? So then, once the touching happens, the charger is positive, and the ball is left with net positive, well, what's gonna happen? Then it repels, right? So initially there should be attraction. Okay, once the touching happens, then that's it. After that, it repels, you see that? If I could go like this, it kind of dances around me. It's repelling. The, this is positive, that one's positive, or maybe they're both negative, right? They're both uh, uh, repelling each other. You see that? So now this is, has a certain charge. So now I can try different combinations. You see how this one is straight right now? It has a certain charge. So then I can rub the glass rod. I can rub the glass rod with a fur. Now, if I bring it close to this, if it attracts it, then it has the opposite, then the glass has the opposite 
uh, charge of the Van de Graaff generator, right? Does it attract? No, it also repels. You see that? So the glass rubbed with the fur has the, opposite, has the same charge as the Van de Graaff generator because it's also repelling. Okay, how about here? If I bring it close to here, does it separate further out? Yeah, it, it maintains its separation and it also even goes up a little bit more. You see that? Let's try that again. Rub it a little bit more. Bring it close. You see how it repels? Bring it close. It repels. So this has the same charge as the Van de Graaff generator. Now let's rub the rubber with the fur. Attraction. You see that? Immediately you can tell. There's an attraction here. I don't want to touch it right at this point because I don't want to discharge it. But you can tell that it's being attracted. Okay, how about here? Bring it close to here. The leaves go down. See, the leaves go down. If I touch it, they go down. They want to go back up, but they don't go back up straight horizontal anymore. So they went down. So that means the rubber, uh, <clears throat> the rubber rubbed with the, the fur has the opposite charge of the Van de Graaff generator. And then you can keep trying different combination. Plastic rubbed with the fur. Attraction, opposite of the generator. You see there? Attraction. How about here? Does it go down more? See, it wants to go down, it wants to go down more. You see? So this one is opposite of the Van de Graaff generator. So, so far we saw that the, um, that the rubber and the plastic rubbed with the fur is opposite of the generator, and the glass rubbed with the fur is the same as the generator. You see? So you can try different combinations. Now you have the silk. So now we have uh, three more combinations we can try. Okay, so let's go back to the glass. The glass rub with the silk. Okay, again repulsion. So even the silk rub with the glass leaves the glass with the net charge same as the generators. So it didn't change uh, that I went from the fur to the silk. See, it's still a repulsion. See that? And then if I touch it this, it's gonna go further up. So that means it was, it had the same charge as whatever the generator had, right? So now if I go the, the a rubber rub with the silk, more, repulsion, you see? So the rubber with the silk is the same charge as the generator. So it, this time it did make a difference because rubber with the fur was the opposite. You see the traction? See the traction? So this time the fur made a difference. Now let's go to the plastic. Uh, plastic with the silk. Repulsion, you see? So you can tell that this is the same charge as the generators. So this kind of experiment, you can try uh, different combinations. And then each time you might want to retry charging it so that the charge of the pith ball is strong and the charge of the Leiden jar is strong. So it has a really nice effect. And you can try the different combinations and see which one is the same as the generator and which one is opposite of the generator, right? Other cool things you can do with the generator is put like this on top. Put the fur on the top as it's being charred and see what kind of effect will happen. You should see, just like the hairs of your hand, right, and arms, and even your hair, the hair is gonna stand up. You can see here how the hairs of the fur are standing up. Due to the static electricity given off by the uh, generator, that looks like actually a person's face. So I could put two eyes and a, uh, I could put two eyes and a, 
I could put two eyes there and a nose, and then it would look like a person. It is so charged right now that even when I get close, my hairs on my arms are getting, are getting standing up. Look at that levitation, you see that? Interesting effect. It, everything is so charged up right now. See how the levitation is standing up? Wow, that's a cool. See what's gonna happen? That's really cool, huh? The, there's so much electricity build up here that that the fur will give its uh, charge to this and then they will separate. Come on, levitate up. So you can see the, with this uh, demonstration, you can do, you can have a lot of fun. You can learn about the static electricity, the Van de Graaff generator. You can try the Leiden jar, the pit bowl. You can try rubbing different things against uh, different materials, see what kind of charge is produced, whether it's the same as the generator or opposite to the generator. And you can also have some fun doing these kinds of, uh, putting different kinds of objects and seeing them fly off, okay? Thank you very much.